Hi everyone, it's the Cake Crafter. Uh, I asked in the last video if you wanted to see about making Christmas cards from gift tags. I have a well to draw for the gift tags. Somebody's already commented yes. So I thought, right, okay, let's do this. Um, so I have gift tags. I have these card blanks. These are um, like a craft colour. I have, this could be like a craft along. Um, six by six paper and oh, what size is this? Four by four paper. And I have some card scraps that have like Christmas sentiments on them. Was that even in frame there? I don't know. Um, I've also pulled out some stickers. Don't know if we're going to use them. And um, this is going to be like a a no fancy tool so the fanciest tool we're going to have is i'm going to use my paper trimmer if you can cut straight use your scissors probably going to need a corner rounder because that's the sort of thing i do and some foam tape if you do not have foam tape you can get card scraps and just sort of pile them up stick them together and that'll give you that 3d effect so one way to do it. <laughs> One other way to do it. Okay, I feel like I've been hoarding these. These are gorgeous. Let's just start with one of these. Oh, and jemmies. I always have jemmies. I think these were like 99 pence from Home Bargains. Yeah, TGM Home Bargains. Um, I don't need the plastic. I was like, should we keep that? No. This packaging as well we could use so let's start with i want to start with this reindeer these are just hooked on oh i love these so let's move this straw out of the way you know what i had a little table for extra table space and i put some shelves up and i hemmed it in oh and apologies for the desk i was sorting out my christmas stuff and that's what happened. So these are five by seven. Obviously, what any, what any, whatever size you have. Look at this cute ribbon it comes tied with. Obviously, we are keeping that. Comes out. Okay. So, hang on. I'm just gonna get. Did I bury me scissors? This is a top tip as well, so you don't need a bone fold out of burnish. Just use your scissor handle. <laughs> so, choose your card. Oh, I've done any. So then I pick the coordinating paper. So I get mine mainly from the works, sometimes from Hobbycraft. Kind of cute. Too busy. It's too busy. I do like this one because it has like the range yarn and stuff on it. Okay, I find the problem with using a 5x7 card blank and 6x6 paper is you don't get enough coverage. So I like to mat with another sheet of paper. In matting, it's just layering up your paper. Like so. So, oh, I also forgot you're going to need a pencil. Or an erasable pen. <laughs> so I just try to go like leave a little gap, give it a mark, and then cut however you feel. Paper trimmer, ruby <laughs> cutter, scissors, craft knife. You could just fold and tear it's entirely up to you keep these scraps okay i'm going to bring my little bin in and just pour around i just use this is a oh i never know who it is I think it's mem we are memory keepers. 
it has three sizes on it i go for the smallest i would tell you what the size is but they all rubbed off i think it's four mil seven mil and ten don't quote me on that i could be very much mistaken okay i use foot stick for this paper because it is thin and sometimes I find my PVA shows through and sorry you're going to hear the bin men coming around because it's that day and I prefer using the print stick to see a double sided tape because you get that bit wiggle room. Okay, I can use PVA on this. And we're just gonna place this down. I do like to go further that up. You could leave this string in or we can take it out. Guess what I'm going to do. I'm trying not to cut it because I want to keep as much of it as possible because you never know when you're going to need it. Oh, and he's going to be popped up, but we want a sentiment. And I'm looking at, I think this font goes cute with this. So, like I say, no dyes today. Put it out. And I'm just going to come in with a little corner around there. I just found those corners. And none of those hit the bin. I should have rubbed the desk. We could mat this. And I think I would want to put it like. Yeah, let's mat this. There's a very loud. Been manly. Right, I'm gonna go walk with scissors. Everybody hold the breath. I'm not talking, I'm holding my breath. I think I did it. I'm gonna try and corner around. I don't know what happened there, but we'll just trim that off and it'll be fine. <laughs> Again, I don't know what's happening there, but I'm just coming with the scissors and straighten it up. Again, none of these things are going in the bit. Right, we're going to pop this up with the tape. So some brands of tape, like this one, sorry, I don't know where this one is from. I find it super sticky. And even my non-stick scissors, these, have problems with it. So I just got an old loyalty card here and I can just tear up there like that. And I just love because it's like a ready-made shaker. And then this. We're just 
going to use a couple of these dots on. Dots. The squares. <laughs> you can get them as dots. Now you're going to ask, what are you going to do about Aggie even all in his head? I'll tell you. I'll tell thee. Yeah, pushing that up there like that did the trick. I have these jemmies. They measure they're about five, six mil. Just good enough to cover that hole in his head. And then to make it seem more deliberate, we're going to do one on his arm and one on his leg. And it shakes. And how cute is that? I think we might do a couple of jemmies down here. And for the envelope, it's that same old trick that we did in the last video, but if you haven't seen, I will tell thee. We're going to take a piece of the red paper. We're going to cut a slither off of it. We're going to take a piece of this and cut a slither off it. And then I like to... Angle the corners and then take some print stick and hang on, make sure we've got the envelope the right way. If you're feeling really fancy you could put some jemmies on the envelope but if you're going to post this card i would not recommend it and there you have card and coordinating envelope oh that is just adorable look at it okay i want to do something with a piece of this packaging let's just pull all these off not do any more of the envelopes on camera because it's just going to be the same thing over and over whoa Whoa! i keep forgetting about that wooden bee i've got up there that's strange sometimes i don't know you know Yes. Okay, it's too big. We're going to take the candy cane border off. Oh, I feel the need to keep those. They might go on the envelope, actually. And look, with that, I think I'm still going to take a smidge off. Take the smidge off this side to um, try and get the sleigh bells more in the middle. You wouldn't need to mat anything behind it. See how we're all about zero waste. You never have a piece of this paper, you know. Be 
been finding these a bit difficult to use so let's see just trying to find something with those sorts of colors in let's try this and then we want to pick do we want to go with one of these No, I don't think we do. Tell you what, I do have this lovely vintage snowman. Mm, I think it's that paper that's the one as well. Because that all looks cute. It's just a shame about these little bits here. Which is why I wanted the paper in the background. I just want to say something. A long thin piece of paper is what we need. But the red is nice. Here's another paper pad. Cozy Christmas for Make and Create. It's just so pretty. I think the blue might look quite fun. So I'll put that there. Oh no, it's too pale with the white. So no to light blue. Let's do this one. This is a really good quality paper. 180 GSM. Let's see how this looks. We can always trim it down some more. I'm not so much bothered about that a little bit there. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. I do think I'm going to have to use the three in one glue to stick this card down because it's shiny and the PVA is just going to slip slide all over the place. Whereas the three in one is going to get a bit of a better hold and dry quicker. Make sure we get some on these little bits. So never sleep on your packaging. Push these down. And again with this. I'm adamant to use those four by four papers on something by the way. I didn't check what time I started recording. Gonna try and get it in the middle. Right, again, I'm gonna take this off. Could leave it on, I suppose. Let's just do tie around here and then make a little yeah that's cute I'm just going to cut my tails because they're a bit long and a bit freeing yep and then bring in a 
and you can find this foam tape in the DIY sections of Home Bargains. <laughs> Me and little candy canes are all stuck together. Okay. This is booking us now. <laughs> so that's where stickers are going to come in. We have these lovely glittery ones. I think we're going to go for the stars. I feel like we need a third one, like up here. yeah like that and to put one any jemmies i think they got any stickers and i'm sorry i don't know where they came from i want to say hobby craft yeah that's cute i like that we need a bit of glue yeah let's just see what the pva does oh i'm gonna use the packaging let's go back to this snowman he seems a bit small for the five by seven cards, but let's just see. Because actually, who says we just need one? Look at in the complete wrong place for him. I have an army of snowmen. And who says cards have to go that way? They can go where I see. I want an army of snowmen. Don't know. These are really expensive tags. Obviously, they have eyelets. I think we might just leave them as is. Uh, ooh, not that colour. Obviously, because it blends too much. We like this table. What would happen if we put two of these people together? We could disguise the line with the middle snowman. I think the table is too dark. But at least I know they will work. Ooh, this is nice. Yes. Okay, how will that look? Because it's quite a busy pattern. Ooh, look. It lines up. Almost. The birdies line up. The snowflake doesn't, but the birdies do. Yeah, so we need a piece of paper to put behind that. So we're doing a landscape card. I don't remember the last time I did a landscape card. In all honesty. My mother-in-law. <laughs> She gets landscape cards, but she stands them up like that. <laughs> and she hangs them on the door like that. Right. Let's start by corner rounding this and getting it down. And then we can figure everything else out after that.
same sound as that tell. We got a bit extra glue, just rub it off. Okay. I keep losing this. I need like a, a dedicated spot for it. See what I mean? How that? Apart from that snowflake. Yeah. So when we crawl around this, <laughs> I left the other piece in the cutter. Oh my goodness, it's going to be one of those crafting days, peeps. Okay, so we only want to do. This is what you have to remember. Corner around that one and that one. Oh no. If I can't get this some clubs, we're going to have to go back to the bit stick. Ah, there we go. Press that down yet until I get this bit lined up. See, because that has to go all that smidge. And then these two. I think I'm going to put down, no I am, I'm going to mount them. And then this middle one. We double up the mount. Give it that bit extra dimension over there. You over here. I'm trying to like get them lined up, and then just see. It doesn't matter that all three don't fit on because they're going to overlap, and that dimension. Give that a little oh adorable. I think I have a sentiment walking in a winter wonderland. straight. That's about straight to me. down there. Now about the holes in the head. I'm actually going to push that off the mat. Just leave the holes in the head. Or 
could try putting a jemmy over them but no i think we're just going to leave the holes in the head and speaking of jemmies how would a jemmy nose look no oh, jemmy buttons coals Oh, adorable! I love it. We have a little snowman army going on there. Okay, I've got sort of got this organised by the characters. You see, it's this big bag of stuff. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, I want to find more of them. Ooh. Okay. And that's cute too. I don't know how we would stick these on though. That is the thing. Do you know how we could stick them on? You know how I said nothing fancy fancy. I'm sorry I can't help myself. Split pins, brands, I don't know what they're called. I have the perfect paper, I think. I don't know. Is it too light? I need something like this. See, I think like the dark's too dark and the light's too light. Do I have a happy medium here? Let's see what's in this pack. went with the red do they that green will have a good glittery green don't oh, I think that's better yeah now what colour? What I put behind it is my question. Well I don't like the red. I do however have this. I could go all yeah, let's just do it. Okay. I feel like we're going to get the most economical use out of the, this card stock in this way. I'm going to turn it over. Just I don't think that pen will mark on the glittery side. corner rounding obviously corner rounding is just a personal preference but i feel like it elevates your card as does the use of jemmies <laughs> and jemmies are so affordable i've been getting mine from um, home bargains i love that shop it's lethal it's lethal we went the other day oh we'll just get a small trolley i was like that's that's not how home bargains works Okay, because I'm going to use these split pen brad things, I'm not going to stick this down yet because I want a way to hide the back of them. I think I will stick this sheet to that sheet though. Because of this paper, I'm going to use the three in one. 
I just don't think the PVA is going to stick to that. Right. Let's see. Let's straighten you up a bit. Okay. I'm going to put two on. Just because of the sheer size of the card. I'm going to eyeball, put a mark there. Eyeball, put a mark there. I'm going to get a pulley tool. I'm just going to use this glue book. Yep, they've gone through. I don't know if I want the silver or the white. And what size I'm going to need. I think I like the smaller size and I think I like the white. So we're going to push it through there, through these holes here, Just line it up, push it down, flip and open our little legs. And then same with the other one. Get it through the hole. There we go. Open our little legs. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, let's stick that down. Again, I'm going to use the three in one. Just because it's a stronger glue. And there's a bit of weight there now. And it'll go, it'll glue over that metal as well. Now, obviously, I don't think you could post this card. Well, you could. But I think it might cost you something here in the UK. I read an article that if you have, were going to send like 100 cards, it would be cheaper to go to some country. I can't remember which country it was. Make on a plane. <laughs> post your cards. From there, come back over and you would save like 50 quid. How crazy is that? Right, now we need some sort of sentiment. Got this red Merry Christmas. I think it's too tall. We have this gold Christmas wishes. That might be quite nice. Ooh, we've got this one and a bit sparkle. That's, that's the boyo. Oh, I like to have all four edges straight. Keep that. I think I want to do something on this that is not corner rounding. I'm going to fishtail it with my little scissors. So fishtail, I'm just going to find the halfway point, come in a smidge. And then from the corner to the top of that cut mark, flip it, do the same on the other side. And then again. So who needs dyes? We could put it at the top, we could 
put it at the bottom. I think I actually like it at the top. Do I want to pop that up? I don't want to leave it flat. I feel like if we pop it up, it would take too much away from the um, the puffy the puffy flowers. The flowers? Did you know that? They're, they're flowers. The stars. I told you it was going to be one of those days. Okay, I don't want red jemmies. I think I want some white jemmies. I'm going to need my little tweezers for these. I'm going to do three gems down here. I don't know why. It's just what I'm feeling right now. And I always add glue because I've had my jemmy so long. I have trust issues with how they are going to stick. Sometimes, like if you see on these red ones, the stick just gets totally left behind. I've just been peeling it off once the row's been done. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> we'll go back to this bag now. These are those gift tags that are like little books. These are cute. I like the fa la 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 la. I like the wet sentiments on them as well. <gasps> Could do something like that. Look at these. These would go nice inside. Should we just pull all these out to go inside the cards? <laughs> like that one has been liberated from this piece. And I'm with these pieces. I'll show you what I'm. Whoa! Again, it's one of those days. I'll show you what I mean about popping up with one of these pieces. Do I want the Christmas wishes? Yeah, let's stick with it. Um, I want some fun pumpkin paper. Oh, what if we did? Like, not that one. Quite nice, you know, with that blue. We're gonna mat these onto this. I'm just gonna mark one and cut two at once, see what happens. Let's live dangerously. Let's get them lined up. I always cut where the biggest piece is gonna be, if you know what I mean. Because I just feel like that's more economical for the paper. So say we're left with one big bit that's quite usable for something and a little bit that's a bit... Mm. <laughs> I think this needs sharpening, you know. Okay, I'm going to corner around again. I just can't help myself. Have corner around that. We'll corner around. That's, that's the model. If I did merch, that would be on something. What's happened to that corner? It's all right, we'll figure it out. If you put that corner down there in that corner there, we can sort of hide them. It's 
still wants like papers behind. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Which is going to be the most economical way to do this. Oh, this way. Because that is the perfect height. Quite a bit of this. I don't know how long we've been going for. I'm just gonna, I think I'll make this card in one, <laughs> one more. And I honestly don't know when my, this video is gonna get uploaded because the internet's being funny again. It's so hard with double-sided papers, you know. that one I would put in the middle you know what I've done this and now I'm thinking do I just want one of them on with another paper to mat it behind I just feel like it's too busy now that's too blendy. Oh. Just seeing if there's anything in this six pack. Oh, that's I'm gonna go walk with scissors again because I can't be bothered to get my paper trimmer down. Okay. <laughs> Completely changed direction there. Apologies for that. But once you're not feeling something, you're not feeling something. That's all I can see. Yeah, I'm gonna do this as well. I just love that purple because it's got that sort of yellowy gold in it. So we'll have that. This is a lot of matting, but it looks beautiful. That. That. I am wondering about stick out. These, these are like a, a chip board. It's just we've already got words there. I think that star is quite cute. These came from Hobbycraft many moons ago. Okay, stick you down. Just gonna give that a bit of a burnish. You down. Stick 
Luca, you down? Does it have a direction? I feel like you up there. And then this. So if you take your scrap of card, let's take that edge off, it's a bit chunky. And you just cut it into strips, fold it over. You can stick those together. And that's going to be popped up. I have to make just do two. In fact, you know what I'm thinking? If you have a stapler, staple those together. Oh, I said I was only going to use two. Oh, never mind. We're now really popped up. I'm going to put this little star here. And then I think over here. I've got some gold gems. Oh, no. Here's the thing. Oh, there they are. I didn't put them back, but I found them. It's all right. It's all good. Ta-da! Actually, that is so much more pop than with the tape. I kind of like it. I feel like we need some jammies elsewhere. Yeah, I'll do me quite nicely. Okay, last one. Wait, <laughs> one more. The thing is, I'm having so much fun, it's unbelievable. Okay. These are my Santa tags. Mm, I should reuse these. Never use them already. <laughs> I'll be used one like them. So these are cool because they've got like. Again, they're the folded ones, but they've got a little version of that one, so essentially, again, two bits in one. These cards really need burnishing. Ooh, make that one better. I've lost me, me confidence in going rogue. With scissors. Apologies. I feel like I want quite a traditional paper, and this is going to be the pad that does it. Apparently not. Oh, these little loose ones. Oh, it's quite nice. Let's just go with that. So she flipping through. So yeah. Is that red sheet of paper? I 
I'm gonna have to put the lid on my pen. It's starting to dry out. of time of recording it is the 26th christmas will have come and gone in one month's time how scary is that how's everybody doing on the uh, christmas shopping front i am like blissfully not done much <laughs> it'll get to the point where i'll start panicking i've had moments of oh, i should really you know I went on, <laughs> went on Temu yesterday and I was putting stuff in my basket and it was like, estimated delivery date, possibly in time for Christmas. I'm like, oh, that's, that's no good. Have I left it too late when I have to go to actual shops now? I think that's what I might do this afternoon is I'm going to who by me throw. Because the dog has biscuit crumbs everywhere. I don't know where the lid is for this. Pull out what little I have. You never know. I might surprise myself. I might have more than I thought. I mean, I doubt it. But write it down because I feel like if it's not written down, I'll not remember. <laughs> then I. Oh, I was going to say, and then I'll do some online shopping. I can't. The internet's not working. Unless I'm going to use up all my data. I might just go to the in-laws and use this. Oh, you know actually what I'm thinking. We'll have these strips. Okay. Yes. I think we did might have done that in another video. I don't know. I don't remember. But then we take the ribbon, the ribbon, the twine from the other gift cards. Tie that in a bow. An angle me bow. These tails shorter. Put that at a slight angle, and then it's going to look a bit like a present. Let's see. Put you there, and you there. Probably not the best time to go walk with scissors, is it? When you want a perfectly straight line. Oh my goodness! Let's see if we can do two for two. I think we did. Oh, sorry, it's going that way. I was like, why, why is that not fitting? I've got a bit of an issue here. But it's all right, because this is a magic pen. I don't know where these came from. I think my sister got us them. Hey look, I found a lid. Okay. We're gonna um, do this technique again because I feel like it worked well. <laughs> and I'm running out of do which one two. Yeah, we'll just do two. Okay. 
Okay, let's just stick this on here. And this on here. And put that there. Then I'm a little bow. I'm going to use the fam on. <laughs> go there. And then does it look like a little parcel wrapped up for Christmas? And then do we want the sentiment? Because I am feeling this, you know, this was taken off record my sister. Sorry, the video cut out, the, uh, the phone was full. <laughs> I didn't anticipate me again such a long video. But like I say, I was having so much fun. So here are our cards using gift tags and little sentiments from it. Uh, but even the gift tag packaging, I thought that was an inspired idea. I love this. This is, this is posh. I know who this is going to. Um, yeah. Little snowman army. I've just showed this to the other half. He says, oh, that looks like one you'd buy in the shop. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Would you like me little shaker cards? <laughs> so I hope this is giving you some inspiration. And this is a great way for you to coordinate your cards to your gifts, I think. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye.